Good morning. Today, starting off with some quiet weather. Temperatures aren't nearly as frigid as they were yesterday. We're looking at the a few clouds. You can kind of make them out now that the sun is coming up. A few clouds on our eastern horizon, and we'll see more of that here this morning as the sun comes up. We'll see more of those clouds showing, but it will still get some sun today, and we're looking at some good conditions coming up as well, especially if you want that summertime heat to come back. Here's a look at our temperatures yesterday. We did warm up. The day before we were at 74 in Fargo. Yesterday we warmed a few more degrees to 77. Other places got into the 70s that hadn't been there. So yesterday kind of started off that warming trend after, of course, that cold morning. And today we'll just build off of that as we continue through the day. And, and speaking of morning temperatures, here's a look at our numbers. There's quite a range here. We're looking at about a 20 degree difference. Uh, the Bemidji area is at 45 degrees right now, and Fargo's at 64. So a big difference between Bemidji and Fargo at this point. So it is a little cooler there, but we're not quite into the 30s like we were yesterday. And Fargo again is at 64 degrees. So is Fergus Falls. So that's our warm spots on the map as well. So warmer weather to the south and west. Our wind is out of the southeast. It's we do have some wind this morning, which is a big change from yesterday. So that combined with the cloud cover, keeping those temperatures up a little bit more and uh, keeping our atmosphere moving along, even if it's at a slow speed, those winds will pick up today. Our visibility as a result, also looking better. We're seeing some good reports coming in throughout the valley. Radar and satellite map shows those clouds streaming through, but other than that, we're looking at some conditions that are going to be uh, more on the sunny side today. Just be aware it's not going to be completely blue skies. We'll have some of the clouds at moments and then sometimes we're really enjoying some sun. So by 9 a.m., back into the 60s. Heading into the noon hour, we're looking at some low to mid 70s. We've got wind coming in out of the southeast, gusting into the 20s at times. So a little brisk. And then as we head into the afternoon, back to the 80s, eastern North Dakota, some low to mid 80s over into Minnesota, upper 70s. So everybody warms up a few more degrees today. Staying quiet for most of the day, even into this evening. Later tonight, we'll see a chance for an isolated shower, a thunder shower. First moving into the Devil's Lake Basin and then perhaps holding on and uh, moving basically right along the Canadian border uh, north of Highway 2 into tomorrow morning. So this is the area that would be seeing rain if we do get any. If you're in the Southern Valley, it should be a quiet or night for you. And as we head into the day tomorrow, you could see a few clouds passing through, but overall uh, some good conditions. We do enter a stretch where we can't rule out an isolated thunderstorm developing for us at any point in the afternoon and evening hours with heating, daytime heating. So by five o'clock tomorrow, we'll be into the 80s, low to upper 80s, and then perhaps a shower or a thunder shower or two impacting some of us here in the valley. So not looking too bad. Here's a look at your photo today. I love this one. Nice and bright sunflower feet in the Fargo area. Thanks, Tiffany, for sharing that photo. And your seven-day planner looks great. We've got some 80s returning as we're transitioning into August. Definitely feeling like August weather and uh, conditions that are going to become a little more unsettled. Friday and into Saturday, chances for some storms. Perhaps Sunday, a good portion of the day, we can keep things dry, but we may see another round of it moving in Sunday night and into Monday. And that will cool us down on Monday. And that'll be the one day here in the seven-day planner for Fargo that we are not in the 80s. So if you were worried about losing our summertime weather, it's it's not gone. It's it's back and it's here to stay for a while. But yesterday was just so refreshing, I it think. It was. It really <laughs> was. It felt like September I, to me with those cooler morning temps and just all that sunshine and dry weather. It did. Thank you, Lisa. Coming up.